a quick pause in our busy school morning because I realized that a month has gone by and I have not told you my big news about my mom's group. If you have been watching our channel for a while, you would have remembered back in the summer I advertised that I was opening a private membership group for moms through Facebook. And that is how it was and a lot of you had wanted to join but we we're very adamant that you did not want to have a Facebook account. So, um, I wanted to share with you that since that time, oh, are you a kitty cat? I see. So since that time, I have transitioned my membership group over to a private site. We are going through Mighty Networks now. It is a, a completely separate site. And so for the members who are in the group, they have an app that they can just click on that app and access our page or they can do it from a website as well on their computer. If you are new to my channel and don't know what I'm talking about, my group is called the Delightful Homeschool Moms Group. It is a membership group just for moms who really need accountability and encouragement, ideas and resources to have a more delight directed homeschool experience. So this is for moms who are looking to have a home where learning is enjoyed, where their kids have the freedom to pursue their interests while still being held accountable to those things that we feel like are the the um, foundations of education. And so the moms who have joined are incredible. We have an amazing core group that has just been there encouraging one another since the beginning. We meet weekly through Zoom. Right now we're going through the book Start With The Heart, so we do like a a book club once a week through um, Zoom chat. And then there are just daily interactions where I share videos several times a week of just checking in with people, giving ideas for homeschool resources, sharing glimpses in our home or the things that we're using. And then there is also interaction among the members where they will say, okay, this isn't working in my home. Do you have any ideas? Or this is working, or this is something that has been a really bl a big blessing for us. Or here is a prayer request or something that, you know, I just wanted to share to have accountability within the group. It has been a great blessing. If this is something you're interested in, I wanted to offer for a short time through the end of the week that you could join at the original discounted price. So if you would go ahead and email me, I will send you the link to join for just $8 a month. And so my email is jkreke -E at gmail.com. I will put that information down in the description box below. And I will also put the link to my website that explains all the details of exactly what is offered in the group. If you even just want to join for a month and try it out, that's perfectly fine. You can cancel any time, of course. We would love to have you join us in this group. It has been such a blessing to me and the ladies who are involved. It's it's really just been a good thing. Mama, and we would love to have you. Mama, can I on that one? Yes, you may. Yes. So send me an email if you're interested. I can answer any questions or you can ask them in the comments, of course. Now let's get back to our regular scheduled program. Well, we made cookies from leftover oatmeal. They're called leftover oatmeal cookies. I found just a random recipe online. They're pretty good. But Lydia decided, come here Miss Lydia. She decided to take her cookie and crumble it all over the ground, didn't you? Here, say hello. <laughs> Did you crumble your cookie all over the ground? Yes. <laughs> Lydia's getting ready to go down for a nap. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. Lydia's yeah. misadventuresome. Yeah, meow, meow, meow. Changes a meow, meow. Lydia likes to climb on everything. So yesterday she fell. Was it yesterday? Yes, it was. She fell and skinned her nose, you can see. James? Show him your nose, Lydia. She's yeah. showing me. Alright, I think I got there's more going in the oven, no, sweetie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Bye. All right. Say we're going night night, right? Yes. It's time. You go. You look awake right now. But yeah. Okay. I pulled the camera out and yeah. you suddenly look alive. Look, Libby and me are matching. They were matching. Can you see that? Mm. Elsie took her sweater off, but they were very matching. Yeah. I was hot. We are adjusting to the time change. Today is the first day, <laughs> just a regular plain old Monday, where we have this little time change. And you know, excuse me, you know, for babies, it is, it takes a little bit of time to adjust. Mama. And also for moms. So... I'm used to getting up like in the five o'clock hour is what I've been doing lately. Good Just my body is naturally waking up then. So I woke up this morning at 3.55 a.m. Could not sleep anymore. I guess my internal clock was telling me it was 5 a.m. because we did the fall back. But wow, I might be needing a nap. So far though, I feel so energized. Actually, I've had several people ask me what supplements I'm taking for this pregnancy because... I have, I got through the first trimester without morning sickness. I had that one week where I was sick and that was it. No morning sickness and I've been feeling really good. I've been having just, this is the most energy that I've had during a pregnancy. And I, I don't know, I guess it's all the supplements that I'm taking. So I hope, I probably just need to do like a supplements haul video, go through get all my bottles and just tell you what I'm taking because it might be a blessing to some of you. I'm, I'm feeling great and I'm grateful for it because I have a busy household, lots going on here. I don't like taking time to just kind of lay on the couch and feel yucky. So I'm, I'm thankful, <laughs> thankful for that little gift, but I'm gonna go put her to bed before she turns fussy on me. The boys took a break to go outside and set up the ping pong table. It is beautiful weather today, however, it's supposed to be even nicer the rest of the week. It's supposed to be 70. Really? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? They're having fun in the barn. The cows are here grazing. That's pretty fantastic that they can be right by the house. Yeah, it's cute. It's a gorgeous day. It's just beautiful. We might need to take a day off this week and just stay outside the whole day because it's that nice. And winter is coming, so we need to take advantage of this. What are you doing? I'm deciding what I should do. This is what I had last time. You're writing a story? Yeah, this is what I had last time. That, this is really pretty. I like this. I see. So you're choosing the font for your story? Yes. It's so hard. So many things. I had kids today who just kind of naturally wanted to do language arts. I had two kids that were working on stories they wrote, and other kids were reading, and... Um, then Samuel started doing some typing, and I don't know, it just seemed like a language arts kind of day, except for Bella, who has been out. Let's see if she's still out there. She has been out taking care of rabbits. That girl would stay outside all day with the animals if I wasn't constantly bringing her back in. She really enjoys being outside, and I try to let her stay out as much as possible because I know this is her passion, and she's having time to develop that and, and enjoy it. And that's the beauty of homeschooling is that our kids can have time to do the, those things that are passions for them. And that's definitely, definitely her passion. Well, day is drawing to a close. We had a wonderful day. I ended up having to put my, um, take my contacts out because I got something in my eye and it just bothered me for an hour. <laughs> but I am finishing up some dishes and starting on dinner. I've been recording all of our dinners and breakfast actually to do some videos where I just share what we've been eating because you guys like that a lot. Okay, I can look at that later, thank you. Um, we did a lot of art this afternoon and I actually recorded that too so that we can share with you the art project that we did. So we did lots of just interesting things today. I can see that, that later, that's what I was saying. I don't need to see it right now. Thank you. Oh, you're having problems. Yeah, thank you. So tonight for dinner I'm making like a it was going to be a regular chicken pot pie until I realized that I didn't have chicken. <laughs> and so I'm actually making a chicken pot pie but using ground beef instead. So it'll work. It'll work. Everybody's been just happily playing today. They enjoyed going outside today so I know they're going to love it even more tomorrow because it's supposed to be 70 tomorrow. Today was I think 57 or maybe 58. We're going to clean up the house. We're going to get dinner on the table and have just a lovely night together. So we will see you very soon. Bye-bye.